Valentine here yet? Valentine? Uh, yes. Where is he? Well, no, he's not here, but yes, Holly, we are expecting him. Well, why is he coming? And why didn't you tell me? It only seemed logical to contact Valentine, considering that Petros had purchased the venture. That took us by surprise. Well, I'm sure. Who would have thought the Cassidines would have bought that funny old thing? That was how you described it to me. Well, it was an old thing. Yes, from those funny old WSB days. Well, who'd ever think you'd be interested in a relic like that? A spy ship. Robert, you shut me out. You really did. Well, it just didn't seem like your cup of tea. Well, then you don't know me very well. Well, Holly, the uh, truth is both Robert and I felt that you just wouldn't have any fun with this. You didn't? Well, if we had, uh, don't you think we would have included you? I mean, it's a far cry from treasure maps and all that kind of exotica. Well, then how would you describe it? Dull. Dull, dull, dull. D dull as dishwater. Absolutely. Then why are you up to your elbows in it? I'm also up to my elbows in statistics and paperwork, and this stuff with the venture is just as boring. Nothing to do with the Cassidines is boring. You think? I know. Well, what's so bloody interesting about purchase prices, delivery dates, incoming times, etc., etc.? That's our man. Dull, huh? I can already hear the thump, thump, thump of both your little hearts. <coughs> Valentine. Ah, hello. Ted, oh, Ted. Yeah. oh you too? <laughs> Look, uh, we have no time for chit-chat. This came straight from the top. We have got a tiger by the tail. We are not to allow the Cassidines to take possession of the venture. No, no, no. They're too dangerous, too powerful, and too friendly with too many powers who are not our friends. Uh, now, good morning. Holly. Oh, I am sorry. I didn't realize you were here. Or I wouldn't have launched into all this boring old shop talk. Oh, please do. Go ahead. Uh, listen, I'd ask you to have a seat, but uh, we should be making a move. No, oh, by all means, by all means. Let's uh, start this nautical discussion right away down by the waterfront. Yeah. Uh, my office is at our disposal. Yeah. Fine. Holly? Uh, bye, um, love. Uh. All right, let's review our priorities. First, we have to create a delaying action so that Ted here can get that injunction to stop the venture from leaving port. How long will it take you to get that court order, Ted? Well, better part of the day. Well, then both Robert and I have our work cut out for us. I personally have to stall that ship somehow, keep it from coming here on schedule. Yeah. Then I'd better get to Petros. Figure out a way to keep him in town, at least until tomorrow. Uh, is that going to be enough time for you? Oh, I'll educate that judge very quickly. Matter of fact, you might have to miss his dinner tonight to start writing out that order. We've got judges at a bit of midnight for this sort of thing. You know, stalling Petros isn't going to be that easy, I'm afraid. But it's precisely what you need, mate. That's right. Absolutely. I'll stall him somehow. If only I knew what he was doing in Port Charles to begin with. Oh, okay. Well, look at it. I mean, you've got the, the brooch, which he had planted here, and then he came in and inspected the Cassadan research at the hospital, the purchasing of the venture. Any one of those things, or in combination, would have brought him here, don't you think? I think there's more. What's your feeling? My instinct. My feeling is... But Petros has plans for the Port Charles waterfront. And we've got to find out what they are. Satisfactory? Hmm. Hmm. Please. Show you, I harbor no bad feelings towards that man. Your instincts were correct, Scorpio. He is innocent. You're convinced of his story, then? <laughs> what convinced me was the realization that he's too stupid to get away with the brooch, but just stupid enough to allow it to be planted on him. No, nothing lost. Oh, what about my Cassidine pride? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not enough that I have the brooch. I must find out who did it. And I will, eventually. But Algernon is now out of the picture. Oh, he needn't worry. 
you have my word about that. What are you thinking? That your resemblance to Mikos is really quite astonishing. You know, it always was rather remarkable, but the years seem to have made it more so. That's the way it goes with families. I'd be curious to see you in five years' time. <laughs> Any other whims? You better speak now, it's your last chance. Let's not push our luck. Hmm. Well, certainly there's nothing to keep me here in Port Charles. The business that originally brought you here has now been concluded? Of course. When do you leave? Probably later today. I'm waiting for a package to arrive. I won't ask what it is. <laughs> Good. Because I'd hate to be rude. So far, this lunch has been very sociable. <laughs> <laughs> You see, we can still laugh together. Friendly enemies, after all these years. Remember, that's the way it was with you, Mikos, Sean, and me. Yes, until Mikos tried to play God. That was an unfortunate chapter. Far better to remember the other time. The good old, bad old days, eh? Mm. Well, that'd be good for another lunch someday. Why don't we continue this tonight over dinner? Including Sean, of course. Yeah, the three of us. Right here. Oh, that's wonderful. That is if I'm still here. Of course. I'll put Sean on notice. I would have thought that a dinner with uh, three enemies should be worth delaying your departure one more day. What was really going through your mind? Oh, uh, Donnelly, that's something you'll never know. Come on now, it was your moment of truth, Petros. <laughs> I think we've all given each other such moments. Hmm? Oh, there are a few moments there that the Cassidy and Wells <laughs> drove me into an early retirement. <laughs> well, who's ready for some more wine? Hmm? Oh, what a good idea. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's the waiter. Yeah. What shall we have? Huh? Well, I insist you gentlemen let me do the ordering of this bottle. Hmm? Okay. What's going on here? Petros Cassadine? Yes? I have an injunction here, Mr. Cassadine. What is this? It's a court order demanding that you cease and desist from your purchase of the venture. No joke, Petros. Oh, Mr. Valentine, since you are Mr. Cassadine, his credentials. I should have known. Dinner, champagne, fine conversation. All in the name of a friendly reunion. Typical WSB tactics. Once a WSB man, always a WSB man. Add this to your toast, gentlemen. Once a Cassidine, always a Cassidine. I'll leave Port Charles without the venture, but I'll be back. When a Cassidine has been made to seem foolish as I have, there's the consolation that someday there will come the moment of sweet revenge. No hurry, Petros. Scorpio, enjoy life while you can. You too, Sean. Because when I come back, and I assure you I will, I'll not only be here to get the venture, but for much more. is on Petros Cassidy.
love to otherwise. Perhaps maybe... Oh, Holly! Holly, dear, say hello to the ladies. Hello, ladies. Hello. These sandwiches are absolutely wonderful, Holly. Please come and join us. I have to put these away, Algernon. Well, when you're finished, then. When we're finished. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm sure the ready ladies are ready to leave. Aren't you, ladies? Go help them with their coats, Algernon. Algernon. <laughs> well, this has been lovely. So I hope we can do it again soon. Now. Yes, somehow I doubt it. We see if I remember. But it certainly has been fun. Yes, indeed. While it lasted. Oh, wonderful. It's been wonderful. Now, this is yours, I remember. Oh. Yes, well, lovely. Keep in mind what I said about that group. Oh, of course I will. Oh. And wouldn't have, wouldn't have to pay for a thing. Really? No, of course it's all not paid for. No. I mean, not even the food? No, nothing. Oh, really? Nothing. Paid for everything. Very, friend. very nice indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks you again for coming. Well, it's been my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Sybil. <laughs> you see, it was just a little something I organized because you, you weren't home. And, uh, well, I was surprised there were any leftovers from your three little weekend events. You know, Holly, I really am most upset. At me? Well, yes. I mean, I don't see how you could be so rude to such lovely ladies. Well, perhaps it's because I'd like to take possession of my house again. Now, please, can you help me with these groceries? <laughs> Rather a lot of food for just us three. Well, just us three don't have any food left because of your many friends. Mmm, bacon and calves liver. Mm, wouldn't that make a wonderful lunch? Mmm, I agree. And wouldn't it be wonderful if you were to cook it? Oh, at least it would taste good for a change. Man is everywhere. And where have you been on one of your dull errands? Mm, I guess my kisses always reflect how bored I am with my work. Maybe I should try that again. Hmm. Actually, you will find the first time. So, what's been going on? Tell me. Well. In actual fact, I've come home to give you some news, so uh, don't complain in future that you're being shut out. Well, it depends on the news, doesn't it? Well, I'm pleased to inform you that you don't have to worry about Algernon. Petros has guaranteed his safety. Oh, what a relief. See how concerned I am about your motley family, the lengths I go to protect them? The relief is for me. I've been so bored with him around the house, I tell you, he's driving me crazy. Well, in the name of your own mental health, give him the show. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Whatever it takes, short of taking the doorknob off this door whilst he's out. That'd be much too subtle for him. Oh, I'll think of something. We'll spring it on dinner. Oh, uh, I forgot. I, uh, may have a dinner appointment tonight. Some important business to wind up. Petros still in town. Ah, uh, Petros won't be a bother anymore, at least not after tonight. Algernon, Petros, we're shedding all of our albatrosses. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Mm. Well, I've got to go and call Sean, excuse me. How was your little walk? The price around the block was all I could manage. Oh, too cold? Too scared. My imagination got the best of me. I saw cassidines behind every tree. Well, you don't have to worry anymore, Algernon. You are off the hook. Am I? Yup. Robert had a little talk with Petro. Seems that they're guaranteeing your safety. You are completely free of the cassidines as of this moment. Do you mean that? As of now, I can walk the streets of Port Charles as my heart likes. You can walk the streets of wherever in the world you like. You can cruise any ocean. As a matter of fact, I thought you might like to take a look at these. These are some brochures left over when Robert and I were trying to decide on a vacation. They might give you a few ideas. Yes, well, you see, ideas aren't the problem, Holly. It's actually a matter of finances. I'm a bit strapped at the moment. Well, have a look anyway. I'm sure Robert will be able to help you out. Well, I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, nonsense. Don't worry. After your ordeal, you need a nice long holiday. Sybil. Sybil, Sybil, Sybil. Well, that's wonderful, because you see, I think I might be able to get away tomorrow. Cool. 
course we'll give him the money. Was there ever any doubt? Somehow I knew you would work it out. Oh, and by the way, my dinner appointment is now definite. Oh, not too boring, I hope. Sean, Petros and myself. Dinner, you say? Yeah, just three of us. Might be the last chance we get together. Robert, you're not getting into anything dangerous, are you? Well, I might order a steak and push up my cholesterol level, but nothing more dangerous than that. Maybe I should try that again. Mm. Don't you think that's just a little too passionate for a man who's about to desert his wife to go out to dinner? It's because I'd much sooner be staying here with you. You liar! Can you say that and keep a straight face? I'm practicing. <laughs>